Hello adventurers, this is the most depressing tour in South Korea that I recommend you should go. The future of peace might depend on this. Let's begin. Today, we'll be entering one of the most tense border region in the world, the demilitarized zone of Korea, also known as the DMZ. Let me give you the super basic story behind this. A long time ago, there was only one Korea, but people at the top had ideological differences that they could not reconcile. This led up to a civil war that continued as a proxy war between superpowers in the world. Thankfully, the war ended in a truce, with the DMZ being the border between the now separated North and South Korea. At the Peace Monument is our first very depressing monument, the Mang Bedan. You know, on public holidays, usually you'll hang out with your family, except if your family is separated because of the war. In that case, you'll visit a Mang Bedan and hope that you'll catch a glimpse of your family in the north side. Just beside it, it's a monument to remember a very heartwarming story of when a Korean radio station ran a program that helped to reunite 10,000 families who were separated from the war. Nowadays, if you want to know where your family members are, you just check Instagram. Oh, they are in here, they are in there. Or you can just give them a call. Yo, where are you at? But back then, they didn't have these options. What the radio station did was basically get people who are looking for their family members to have an open mic session at the radio station like, hello, my name is this and that. The whole nation would tune in to the radio and if they recognize any family members of that person, they would call the radio station and ta-da, the family is reunited. Over the course of the programs, it helped to reunite over 50,000 people and 10,000 families. But you know, if a war didn't break out in the first place, maybe they wouldn't have been separated? And now, we're actually entering the DMZ to unfortunately witness how things might be getting worse sooner than later. Ever since the truce was signed, North Korea hasn't stopped trying to find an edge against the South Koreans. For example, the North have been secretly digging infiltration tunnels to sneakily gain access to the South. These are believed to be used to funnel troops to mount a surprise attack onto the South. When a high-ranking military colonel from North Korea defected into the South, he actually revealed that there are plans for 20 tunnels to be dug into the South. But so far, only four has been found. So there might be more dire things that are happening underground that we don't know about. As part of this tour, we got to visit the third tunnel, which we actually get to crawl all the way down into the original tunnel and see how the South has blocked off the passageway with concrete walls to avoid further infiltration. Further into the DMZ, we arrive at the Dora Observatory where we can actually meet the local North Koreans. Though not exactly in person, you only get to see them through these very powerful telescopes. I actually caught glimpses of North Koreans working on construction sites and farmers working in the fields in the distance. I feel that this sighting is a very powerful moment for me because I get to witness firsthand that the North Koreans are also humans. You know, sometimes when we are nasty to each other, it's very easy to be blinded by the rage, by the anger, and see the other person as less than a human. But actually, regardless of the political powers at play, we are all humans. Although this tour is depressing, I feel like it's a necessary reminder that war is terrible and that we can work together to prevent it. Hopefully, we can look past our past and build towards the future. You know what else is crucial for peace? Food! Like this one. I'll see you there. Hello adventurers! In this video, I will show you how to infiltrate North Korea. Just kidding. 